I'm going to show you how to use Pirate Dresser 14. Now, I do a lot of videos, and this is the program I use for all my videos. It's a very simple program, and you can see it right in front of me right now. Pretty simple. Um, you got your videos that you input into the timeline, which is down here. I have my, uh, my thanks for watching at the end. I always have that. Um, I made an intro for this video, which is very interesting how to do that. And then I'm going to insert the uh, video in. And I'm going to go 30 seconds in to this video. Um, and this is video is about... How to use this program. So again, we're going to go about 30 seconds in, which will probably be right about here. Yeah, it looks like. So we're going to cut right to about here. And then I'm just going to hit delete. We're going to move, remove the gap. And then it looks like this. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a very good intro using BioPress. This service lets you, um, so like I said, you can see how easy the PowerDress 14 is. And you can, you can cut as much out as you can. So we're going to cut a little bit more off this video here. So just going to... And just remove the gap. If you leave a space, it'll be a space. Now, so then, you, and then like I said, I just usually go to the end. And there's a lot of things you can do in PowerDirector uh, 14. And and a lot of the versions are all the same. So if you have an older version, it will probably still do this. Um, but um, you in, in here, I pretty much got it all, the video all done. But what's nice about this is you have your media, so you can input it by dragging it in or by inputting it. Um, I just drag it in. It's a lot easier. Then you got your um, you got um, effects, and then you got your transitions. You can have your titles. This is what I, when, I, when I did that one video, I did this title, or one of, one of these titles here. But I think that using... Um, BioPress is a lot easier, and you can make you can add music to it. So why not get the music in there? And then you got your um, you got your 2D, your you got your 3D. You got so many choices in here. Um, my sports, I do a lot of my sports in here. Um, I don't know if I have any of them in here, because a lot of my other computers where I did a lot of that work. I guess it might be in favorites. So here's the normal ones I use the transitions, the titles, these titles, I don't use that much of, but the transitions is what I use a lot of. Um, because I can either fade it in, fade it out, it looks very good. So we're going to do a fade out here at the end. And then we're just going to play back at the end, make sure it looks good. Ow. And then it just fades out, and it says thanks for watching. I for now. So as you can see, this program is a simple program that you can use. Now, there's several, you can add audio and all that kind of stuff, obviously, as well. PowerDresser 14 also came with a recorder to video your screen. And that's what I'm actually using now. I'm using that screen capture to actually video these videos that I've just shot for you. These videos are going to be very helpful for you guys, I'm hoping. Because then you got a little more sense of what I use to record my videos. Because this program here lets you do everything. You can edit, you can, um, you can, bazoo, bazoo. <laughs> you can make the video, but it, per se. There's a lot more things you can do. You can make, okay, so let's, capture is like, if you capture a device. Edit is like when you edit the video, and you have, and you can make this uh, window big and, and and big and up and all that. I mean, by dragging it, so you can make it big um, if you need to. But 
when I do a video, I more need a timeline than anything else. Um, cause that's, and this is, and this is also how I do the screenshots for my Minecraft sometimes is I'll find a good point in the episode where I have a good picture and I just hit the snapshot right here and it will take an image. And, um, like if I do one right here, um, I just do a snapshot and it takes a shot and then it inputs it into, um, the media area, which is right here. So then you got a snapshot of whatever you need a snapshot for. So that's how you can use snapshots in it. Um, the other thing is when you produce a video and that's when you make the file, there's a few ways you can do it. You can do it right on your computer by doing this. And then you can select one and then you name it wherever you need to name it. Like this one would be um, how to use this program. Um, no, it wouldn't be. It would be how to use. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this one be um, how to you use. Um, press. Um, uh huh. So that that's the, that's the intro for this, and I am gonna hit um, save it in here. So you you can easily you can see how easy it is to um, make a make it you know make the videos and. And um, it's very easy to do that. And then, like I said, that's how you do it that way. If you now, the nice thing about PowerDirector 14, and I mentioned this in other videos, why um, PowerDirector 11 wasn't working for me, because if I want to make a video and have it go right online, like if I wanted to do this right now, I could do it. I would just do, um, I would go to YouTube, and then I you see it's even there. I would just have to change uh, this to this. Add the, the 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 stuff. Add what it's um, entertainment or whatever, and then produce the video that way. And then you, again, you could just do this, and boom, and save, and then hit start, and it would ask you to produce the video and upload it right away. There's so much, and then you can also, like I said, you can create a CD um, using the CD creator, which is pretty simple and understandable as well. I mean, this stuff is very simple to do. Making intros, and then you, you know you got two. You got um, if you do no menu, then there's no menu. Where's no menu? Oh, now I'm getting the director zone. They also have a thing that you can um, get. Uh, they have director zone, which is just for um, stuff like this. You want to do a video, you can um, upload it right to their zone area per se and then uh, people can look at it on there as well so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna produce this video just so you can see how it works I'm gonna do it right on my computer that's 4k we don't want 4k we want standard HD which is this we already should have made the no oh, it went away so we're gonna paste that in there hit save and then start rendering this. Now this could take a bit of time, but I've noticed a lot of the videos that I've done lately, like the one I just did, and um, this one seems like it's only gonna take a few minutes. So that's what's nice about this program is it could do everything that you need in a pretty small area. Um, my, I finally got, like I said, I've been having trouble with my desktop. I finally got working on that desktop that I built. So we're on that desktop. We're doing everything on there now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, using this program is very simple. You can see that this video is being produced pretty quickly. I mean, it's going to probably take maybe five to six minutes to make this video. In that time frame, I can talk to you guys about what's going to be coming up on my channel and give you a little heads up of what's going to be going on. So we're going to have a lot of my Minecraft Let's Plays. We're going to um, do uh, we're going to do a live stream. Um, the live streams, like I said, we're going to have another. We're going to have a live stream on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. 
and um, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Let me tell you. Um, right now, I'm still working on the server part of it, but hopefully, we get that resolved fast. Um, and we're gonna go from there. I mean, and it's gonna be interesting. I'm just working on the credit card information, which I'm having trouble with the account information right now. But by the time this goes up, it should be fixed, I'm hoping. So I'll be able to do more videos for you guys. Um, I know you guys enjoy my videos. So that's great to know you guys are enjoying my videos. And I'm hoping you're going to enjoy these, these videos on what I use. You know, using... Um, this program using um, PowerDirector 14 and how to make a server with um, MC Pro. I mean, these videos are going to be the videos for you guys to look at and say, you know, this guy knows what he's doing. You know, I mean, I know what I'm doing because I've been doing it for a long time. I mean, the intro stuff is is more not what I'm into, um, but. Now, since I know I can easily make an intro for every video that I do, add music in. I mean, do you guys like the music? I mean, if you guys are liking the music on these videos that I'm doing, the intros and all that, then that's good to know. You know, this video is on how to use PowerDresser, you know, 14, but the videos with the audio and then also the intros in the beginning and the intro and end, end doesn't have any music, but... Do you guys like that intro stuff? I mean, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying thanks for these videos and all that. And, and I really do thank you guys. You guys are the community behind my videos. I mean, the people that watch my videos from start to end understand that, I mean, it's it's not that hard to get videos out. So these videos that I've been doing for you today will be more videos coming out like this. Um, if you guys enjoy these videos, like the, you know, how to do this, how to do that, I can do more of that. There's, like I said, like I mentioned, all right, there's going to be a live stream on Sunday night, starting about 10 a.m. in the morning and going until 10 o'clock at night, so 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., that's tomorrow. And we're going to be just uh, live streaming, hopefully, on the new server, I hopefully can get that fixed. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's really going to be a fun time on that server. We're going to have a whole bunch of fun. And we're going to be doing other live streams too. So it's not just going to be that one live stream. It's going to be a 12 hour one. And um, yeah, we'll be we'll chat a lot more about um, live streams in a later video. But yeah, I mean, there's going to be a lot more to come. And this video is almost done to produce this video. And then, like I said, once that's done, that's it. You're done. Um, you don't have to do another, you know, until you have another video that you want to upload. You don't have to spend that much time on doing stuff like this. I mean, it's, you know, you, you, you make the video, you produce it, you, you edit it all in one program. It will upload its way to YouTube just for you if you wanted to do that. Um, I can show you that in a later video if you want to learn how to do that. I mean, it's not that hard. All you need to know is how to do it. And it's very simple in this program to do stuff like that. It is. I mean, just showing you basic stuff like how to edit. How to edit good. I mean, that I do a lot of editing because of all my sports. And you guys like the sports, so thanks. Um, go watch those sports. Uh, I'll be starting up more of that because... In a few weeks, in, a, in about a month, I think, in August, they start back up. So I'll be, there won't be as much Minecraft, but there'll be more of videos of my sports. So I, 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 I'm going to try to do as many of those as I can. It'll probably, I'm, at the moment, I'm looking at maybe five to ten day delay between when I get, you know, when I shoot them and get them up. Because of every game I have every day. Um, hopefully I can get an easier editing way of doing it. Um, but this video is almost done. So you can see it's got two seconds left to one second. It's done. It's produced. And then it comes up and you have a, a, a screen. And then you can go back to edit. And um, we're going to hit save. 
so it saves it, and then you got the video right here. You got the video right here, and you can hit play. And then it goes right into the video. Now, so that's how you, you can how do it. And then at that, and this is not the video right here to put, um, that, that I'm just saying, you can then see how it works. So, I mean, it really, it, it's a really easy part. Or, now. And then obviously, um, with YouTube, you can add the ads at the end and at the beginning if you have over 10 minutes. They, I think it's over, it has to be over 10 minutes for that to be a factor. So, I mean, with that being said, I think that it is time to end this video, like I normally do. Okay. For now. But I'm not going to do it that way. But I am going to end this video. And um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the, the, you will enjoy the videos to come from this channel. And if you have any questions about what I use uh, program-wise, like I said, I use PowerDriver 14, obviously. I use, I'm going to probably start using the FilePress, which is a very nice program to use. I suggest you go sign up for that. And, um, it's, like I said, they're a very good program. Both are. Um, PowerDirector 14 is not free, though. It's about, I think about 80 bucks. You can get that at Assy at Best Buy, where I work. Um, but I didn't buy it from Best Buy. I bought it directly from um, PowerDirector.com. And you can, you can have them send a CD and all that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that you guys are going to enjoy these the, this, these few videos I've done so far. Um, obviously, they're not uploaded yet, but I'll be uploading them very shortly. I got this to edit, and then they'll be uploading videos for you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying them. And um, once I get the server thing taken care of, we'll be doing probably another video. So... Until my next video, I'm going to have to say bye bye for now.